to another scandal, James Cook University. It first got rid of the late Professor Bob Carter after he very publicly questioned the global warming scare. Then this same James Cook University sacked Professor Peter Ridd, marine physicist, after he questioned the global warming scare as well and said some of the alarmist claims and papers by his colleagues could not be trusted. How dare he? Fired! Well, the High Court is now considering whether that firing was fair or a terrible attack on Rudd's academic freedom, which indeed it was. But how strange. It turns out that Peter Ridd could have been more correct than he possibly knew. There is now controversy over two separate groups of researchers at this James Cook University. One group that's been claiming that global warming is making coral reef fish swim towards their predators instead of away to safety. And another that suddenly backed off past global warming claims. Joining me is Peter Ridd. Peter, it's always great to catch up with you. What are the allegations against the scientists who claimed that global warming is making fish, well, apparently suicidal, rushing to the fish that actually eat them? Well, a group of international scientists checked uh, at least a dozen of their reports and found them all to be 100% wrong. And interestingly, uh, they're also looking at some of the, the details of the data and they, they are alleging fraud in some of these cases. So it's a very, very serious situation. But interestingly, none of the major scientific institutions are looking into this to see whether it's just total and utter incompetence or whether some of it is actually possibly fraudulent. And of course, I should add that the scientists themselves uh, say they haven't committed fraud, that the other research backs them up and, and the university has uh, briefly investigated and cleared them. So that's one, but that's a live issue. The second issue, the university's Centre of Excellence for Coral Reef Studies in March published a paper about how coral reefs are actually handling global warming. What's been controversial about that? Well, they looked at the number of uh, corals around the world, the actual individual corals. And you can do a back of the envelope calculation and work out it's just, you know, billions, maybe trillions. But they did it a sort of a bit better than that. And, you know, there's just staggering amounts of coral out there. And even if you do lose a little bit from global warming, um, which I don't think you will, actually, but even if you did, the idea that the coral reefs are in any way close to extinction is just completely ridiculous. And that turned out to be exactly the opposite of what a couple of these uh, same researchers have been saying, correct? Well, that's right. So one of the researchers who was on this paper saying, essentially, look, the, the reefs just can't ever ever be uh, go extinct, is one of the ones that's um, also on a lot of the papers that say it's going to be the end of the world. So it's really quite remarkable what some <laughs> of the things that are coming out of that institution. <laughs> If only they had said so earlier when you've been saying exactly the same thing, Peter Ridd. But uh, well, how does all this fit in with what you were sacked for saying? Well, I was sacked for saying that because of fundamental problems with the quality assurance systems, that their work was untrustworthy. And along come a group of international scientists and find none of their work works. You know, it's all wrong. And I've also been showing that, for example, they were saying coal dust blowing off the loaders at Hay Point reaches... 200 kilometres away and is, you know, damaging the reef. When though that, that data was completely wrong, the measurements and the calculations were completely wrong, and again and again and again we've demonstrated, you know, reefs which supposedly are completely dead and have no coral have wonderful coral. And the biggest problem here is not that I got fired for that, but none of these institutions, like the Australian Research Council, which funds these people, are looking into this basic quality assurance issue. And the government really needs to... They're funding them. They should make sure we have quality research. We don't at the moment. I think you couldn't be more right. We have Auditor Generals that comb through the books. We should have a Science Auditor General comb through the science, particularly when some really dodgy science is being used to excuse some massive imposts on people and the economy. I, 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 I totally agree with... It's an argument that you've been making for quite some time. Peter Reid, you will be vindicated. You've just got to live long enough. Good on you. Thank you for your time. Thanks very much.